Discover the extravagance and grandeur of Long Island's Gold Coast, where opulent mansions and breathtaking estates reign supreme. Welcome to Long Island's Gold Coast, a region of unparalleled beauty and luxury that has captivated visitors for generations. From the Roaring Twenties to the present day, this stretch of coastline has been home to some of the most spectacular and opulent mansions in the country. First, we will discuss Oka Castle. Ovika Castle, also known as the Otto Kahn Estate, was constructed in the 1910s by philanthropist and investment tycoon Otto Hermann Kahn. The estate, located on Long Island's highest point near Cold Spring Harbor, is the second largest private mansion in the United States, with 127 rooms and over 109,000 square feet. In addition, the estate has an 18-hole golf course, one of America's biggest private greenhouse complexes, and a huge French formal garden in front of the house. During the peak of Long Island's Gold Coast in the 1920s, Conn utilized the opulent estate to organize lavish parties and entertain royalty, chiefs of state, and Hollywood stars. Following Conn's death in 1934, the Gold Coast estate passed through many owners and was used for a variety of purposes including a retreat for New York City sanitation employees. Up next, we have Winfield Hall, Woolworth Mansion. The historic Woolworth Estate, also known as Winfield Hall, is located in Glen Cove and was created in 1916 by famed architect C.P.H. Gilbert for major department store magnate Frank Winfield Woolworth. The construction of the Italian Renaissance-style residence began immediately after Woolworth's previous home which was situated on the same site, was destroyed in a mystery fire. Fortunately, the blueprints for the new residence had already been created. Woolworth's estate remained in the family after his death until 1929, when it was acquired by the widow of Richard S. Reynolds of the R. S. Reynolds Metal Company. The home was then transformed into the Grace Downs Academy, a business school for young women, until it was acquired by Martin Carey, the brother of former New York Governor Hugh Carey. Do you want to know about the mystery that Hempstead House holds? Well, continue watching the video till the end to learn more about it. Moving forward, we will talk about Old Westbury Gardens. The estate of Hone Schaffer Phipps was nestled amid 200 acres of formal gardens, forests, lakes, and ponds. The house's construction started in 1903 when Phipps told his British fiancée that he would build her a mansion in America identical to her family estate in Battle Abbey. Following Phipps' death in 1958, the estate was turned into a non-profit corporation, and the well-preserved gardens and estate were made available to the public. It is also utilized for wedding ceremonies and photos. Today, Old Westbury Gardens is one of the best-preserved Gold Coast estates, hosting historical tours, educational programs and talks on nature, and even outdoor concerts and festivals. Furthermore, Old Westbury Gardens has been the location of countless film shoots, including sequences from North by Northwest and Cruel Intentions. Lastly, we will talk about Hempstead House. Located at Sands Point, Hempstead House is one of four homes that comprise the Guggenheim Estate. Howard Gould, son of railroad magnate Jay Gould, began construction on the home in 1912. Gould constructed two castle-like structures, Hempstead Home, the main home, and Castle Gould, the smaller residence. Mill Fleur and Falaise are the names of the other two homes. Hempstead House is a magnificent 50,000 square foot Tudor-style estate with 40 rooms and an immense vaulted ceiling that embodies the wealth and elegance of the Roaring Twenties. The walnut paneled library was inspired by King James I's castle, while the underground palm court originally housed 150 types of rare orchids, plants, and potted trees. Intriguingly, the original concept was for a castle modeled after Kilkenny Castle in Ireland. However, Gould was dissatisfied with the design, so another home was erected as the primary living quarters. The estate was sold to Daniel Guggenheim once the house was completed and the name of the main house was changed to Hempstead House. We hope you enjoyed learning about the fascinating history and architecture of these magnificent homes.
and that you're now inspired to explore this legendary stretch of Long Island for yourself. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to like and subscribe for more content like this. Until next time, happy exploring!